tell me more about this beginning. You record the first record that you record in your life was now and forever was the first single. Tell me more about this experience in studio record. Mm -hmm. I was um, we were doing a big show, a Latin festival in New York City. And I, I was dancing for them and someone came up to us afterwards and they said, um, you know, do you do you sing? And I said, you know, everyone knows the story. I said, I sing in the shower and I sing in church. That's about it. Dude. And they said, well, you have the look and, you know, we're looking for someone to manage and we're looking for someone to to represent as an artist. Mm -hmm. And then it said uh, then Michael was like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get a song. We'll get the song ready. We'll have a song for her. And he did uh, now and forever, but it wasn't called now and forever. Mm. There's a wow. there was a piece of it that was missing. You you guys hear the the revised version of now and forever, but the original original one it was called with one touch. Oh, was never was released. No, I performed it um, like at little shows here at family sweet sixteens and things like that, but. When we gave it to Nelson Cruz, when they signed me up for Micmac and Nelson Cruz took it, he took out the chorus, which was with one touch, and he kept now and forever. So now and forever became the chorus. And it, it worked beautifully. You know, it went well with it. But then last year, or yeah, Willie and I and Michael got back together and we re recorded now and forever. And we added the missing element. So um, when it gets re-released, yeah. Um, um, in swims? It's um, not yet. Uh, it's going to be on artistic records. Uh, you know, he 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 was the beginning of Now and Forever, Willie Valentine and Michael Berto. And I thought it was just fitting that when we recorded it, the song all over again, that he should take it and release it as one of his songs. 